Sassanichs. Yet another long drought lander is upon us. Season 4 of Outlander wrapped up on January 27, and production on Season 5 has yet to begin, which means we could be looking at a 2020 premiere date for the Stars series. That info is bittersweet because, yes, that's over a year away, but at least we know the it won't be final season of the time-traveling slash historical fiction, romance drama as it's already been renewed for a sixth. Historically, seasons 2 to 4 have had 13 episodes each with seasons 3 and 4 premiering in the fall, while season 2 premiered in April and the series initially debuted in August. We also know the show is based off the brilliance of author Diana Gabaldon's words, and so far, each book in her series has corresponded with a season of the show. Outlander producers have confirmed that season 5 will indeed be based off the fifth book, The Fiery Cross, and pick up where season 4 left off, so the time period would be between 1770 to 1772. So, keeping that in mind, here are some major plot points to expect in season 5. 1. Brianna and Roger's Wedding Finally. He went back in time for love. She was raped. They aren't sure who is the father of her baby. He was sold to the Mohawk tribe. If this couple can survive all that, they are meant to be together and indeed do get officially married in the books, not just a hand-fast ceremony. Also, can we get a name for the baby boy please? He already has one in the books. 2. Fergus and Marsley In Season 4, The Adorable Couple and their child, planned to settle on Jamie and Claire's land and build a little cabin of their own. More scenes with them are much needed. Also, we wouldn't hate a first Thanksgiving episode. 3. Stephen Bonnet The Frasers and Myrtle think that he perished in the prison explosion but we know better. Those keys were just a little too close for comfort and we saw him lunge for them. Plus, what fun would a season be without a villain? Bonnet also knows that Brianna is pregnant after he raped her, so he could come a Colin and claim to be the child's father. In the book, Bonnet returns and tries to kidnap Brie and her son. Expect a showdown of epic proportions. 4. Myrtle In the final moments of the season 4 finale, Jamie received a letter from Governor Tryon instructing him to build up a militia to track down and kill the leader of the Regulators, Myrtle Fitzgibbons. Jamie's godfather. Now, Murtaugh doesn't survive the Battle of Culloden in the books, so this storyline is a new one, as is his romance with Anne Jocasta. Could Silver Fox Murtaugh marry the wealthy widow, taking the place of a book character named Duncan Innes? Possibly. It's more likely that Murtaugh would go into hiding since his face is plastered on every wanted poster in town. This season will also probably show Jamie at odds with the government. Tryon's request doesn't sit right with the Scot because most of the Regulators are also Highlanders. This time period is still pre-American Revolution. Thanks to Clara's wisdom, Jamie knows the war doesn't end well for His Majesty's side, so he might try to distance himself from the Crown. 5. Young Ian After living with the Mohawk for a significant amount of time, Ian wrote to his family informing them he's married and are expecting a child. Season 4 skipped over this, but in Book 5, Ian returns to Fraser's Ridge but doesn't explain why he left the Mohawk. 6. Ottertooth When Ian returns home, he brings with him the Journal of Ottertooth, or Robert Springer, the man who time-traveled with the stone the Mohawk feared. His ghost also visited Claire when she got lost in the woods. In Book 5, we learn what was special about Ottertooth, from where and which time period he came and other details about time traveling, which is helpful because the family is unsure if Bree's son will have the ability to do so. 7. Lord John He's still technically engaged to Brianna but was called back to Virginia on business. Could we get an episode where Jamie tells Brianna that William is her half-brother that Lord John is raising as his own? 